What is up, all of my dumpster peeps? Welcome to today's dumpster diving video. Currently 81 degrees in Pittsburgh. Oh my word, I absolutely love it. If only it would stay like this, you know? But it won't. <laughs> It'll be nice today and tomorrow, and then the temperature's going back down again. Anywho, it is just gonna be you and I again tonight. Beth is still recovering from having the stomach flu. I know all of you miss her, I miss her too. I wish she was with me, but I want her to get better first and then she can come back with me. I also do have a ton of your donations that you guys have sent. So we will have a live donation opening very soon. Um, it will probably be happening in the beginning of next week, which I believe today is the 19th. No, today is the 20th. Like the end of the month, we'll have the live donation opening. And I wanted to bring attention to something. I'm going to vent a little bit. Let me put my windows up. I had had a comment on one of my shorts. Um, I think it was the one that I said the only problem with dumpster diving is you find so much stuff, you don't know where to put it all. And I had mentioned in that video that I had uh, a ton of your donations in my trunk. And some lady was like, I'll just never understand why people send you donations. Why aren't they donating in their own community? And I was like, who the heck said they're not? <laughs> why would you just assume that they're not donating to their community? How many times have I told you guys, donate to your communities first before you donate to mine? Like, I, I, I don't ever expect anybody to send me any donations. That's why I dumpster dive. I dumpster dive to get items to donate to my community. But the other, the other comment I made to her was, why does it matter to you? Shouldn't it just matter that we're donating to women and children in need, period? You know what I mean? Some people are just so negative. Like, how do you live your life like that? I just don't understand. I could never be that negative. I just couldn't. I'm sure most of you that donate to me also donate to your own communities. If you're a person that likes to donate, then I, I'm pretty sure if you're donating to other places that you're donating in your own community. But I will take this time to make a PSA. If you are going to send me donations, please make sure you donate to your own community first so the negative Nancys don't have anything to say. <laughs> On that note, let's go get to these dumpsters and do the dang thing. All right, guys, first dumpster is Alta. There's an eyeshadow palette in here. See it? And it's not all ruined. Usually they'd take all this stuff out. Tried to mess some of it up, but not all of it's messed up. There's some of it they didn't even touch. How cool is that? There is a big bag in there with some makeup, I think. So I'm gonna jump in and grab it. I just got stopped by security at Burlington. <laughs> They're sitting there. I was like, why is there security sitting in the parking lot? And then they come over and stop me. They're like, what are you doing looking in the dumpster? I was like, looking? <laughs> They're like, you're not allowed to. Now they're following me. Guess they hired security guards for their dumpsters. Crazy. You know, the more I'm thinking about it, the more my biscuits are straight burnt. So they literally hired people to protect their garbage, to make sure no dumpster divers take the garbage out of the trash that's not garbage, that is products. They're hiring somebody to make sure it goes to the landfill. Does, does that make sense to anybody? Like, wow, maybe let's take those products and give them to people in need instead of ensuring that they go to the landfill for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, does, does that make sense to anybody? 
And then, you know what the sad thing is? I was texting Beth and telling her about it. She's like, I bet you any money, they only have one cashier inside, but they hire people to watch their dumpster to make sure their trash goes to the landfill. I was like, you are so right. <laughs> like, shame on you, Burlington. Shame on you. It's just, it's a shame what these companies do to make sure dumpster divers don't get perfectly good items that they throw in the trash. Do you know what I mean? Like, take for example the stuff I just pulled out of their dumpster two days ago. Brand new toys for kids thrown in the trash. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's go to the next dumpster, shall we? <laughs> I could go on all day if you let me. We're at the next Dollar General. I just pulled in and I went to get out and the employee was coming to throw garbage away so I had to act like I was checking my tire. <laughs> oh man, it stinks. Woo, that's some stanky garbage. Oh man, that stinks. Oh, that's bad. I can't even. I can't do it. <laughs> Good Lord, that's some stanky trash. We're at CVS. There's not much in here, but we got a bunch of spring water. So I could only grab two of those um, sparkling waters because an employee was starting to come out. So I had to hike it to the car. I was like, I'm not going to get caught here because I don't want them to start destroying. So I cut my losses. I got two of the, I think they're six or eight packs of the sparkling water. So no big deal. I mean, I'm sure another diver will get them. It's not the end of the world. I'd rather not be caught and then them start to destroy. So no big deal. All right. Let's head to the next one. We are at the next Dollar General and we got one bag filled with a bunch of chips. Boom, right there. Hex, yeah. We got tons of pork rinds and a bunch of toasted chips. Sweet. There might be some other stuff in there too. I'm not really sure. But we'll take it. Beggars can't be choosy today. We haven't had the best of luck so far. Next Dollar General. We have been driving for quite some time and have not found anything. It has been a crappy night of diving. Oh, man. And that's pretty much every dumpster I'm going to. We are at a Dollar General. This one's the one that's usually locked. It's unlocked. And there's a bunch of sodas over here. And I'm hoping there's stuff in these bags. Cold stuff. Yeah, these are French fries. So that's a no-go. Ooh, it's getting nippy out. And that's pizzas. All right. So, I guess we just got some pop. <laughs> That's it. That is literally it, guys. That sucks, huh? Well, we got two more Dollar Generals to check, and that's it. So, hopefully, find something in the next two. Number one of the last two Dollar Generals. Oh, we got some stuff. There's a whole case of wipes. Yeah, we got some stuff. Not a lot, but I'll take what I can get at this point. <laughs> Quaker Captain Crunch. Whole case, hopefully. All right. Let's get it. Too bad, guys. 
All right, let's load her up. I went in and checked this dumpster. I guess I probably could have looked at the ground and just realized that it's all milk. <laughs> that's all that's in the dumpster. Tons of nasty spoiled milk that they opened and tossed in the dumpster. So that's gonna do her. Wasn't the best haul, that's for sure, but the last dumpster definitely paid off. And let us not forget about the Alta Bay. It's the next day, and before we get into the full reveal, I went to my P.O. box, and you guys, yet again, sent so many more donations. Oh my word. Y'all are the flipping best, so let me unload all of these donations and then we'll get to the full reveal. I can't back up anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My game room is not very wide, but I wanted to just give you guys an overview of the amount of donations you guys have sent in just two weeks. It's crazy. Thank you guys so much. I tell you guys this all the time, but I truly cannot do this without y'all. You guys are just the absolute best. We will be having the donation opening tomorrow. And I also just wanted to show you guys real quickly the amount of soda we have saved in just two dives. Is that not crazy? Some of these are double stacked. There's so much. Plus we have a ton of food and some clothing, a ton of meds, some toys, jewelry, all that jazz to donate to the school district kids, the Women and Children's Center, the Blackbird Center, you get it, all the places. The sad thing is, especially with the soda, these would all go to the landfill and instead of them going to the landfill and taking up all this space and all this plastic just sitting around, at least now we can donate it to people that are in need. I mean, I know it's not the healthiest, but still everybody likes a little sweet treat now and then, you know, and now it will hopefully get recycled and used instead of going to the trash. So, all right, enough blabbing. So this was not the best dive, okay? We didn't get a ton of items, but every little bit adds up. I say that all the time because it does. Even though I know I'm going out and I'm spending a lot of gas and a lot of time to not have a ton to show for it, that doesn't bother me. I'm just happy that I'm saving something because at the end, when I donate everything from all the tiny little dives, it all adds up to a pretty good amount. And all of that stuff goes to help people in need, which is the whole reason I do this. Let me show you guys everything I found at the dumpsters. The very first dumpster that I went to, shockingly, was Alta. You see in the thumbnail, I am not even exaggerating. I will put all of the prices up on the screen for you. That way you can see what these items cost because it is crazy. I can't believe the little amount that I was able to save totals over $314. <laughs> that is just crazy to me. Some of these items do not have lids, but that is not a big deal because the items that don't have lids, I'll just keep because I don't want to donate them without lids. You know what I mean? We have this e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour Stick, and it's completely full. We also got these bronzing face drops, which this is almost completely full. We got a Tarte Creaseless Concealer, a Super Goop 40 SPF sunscreen, two of these Burberry Her Mini Perfumes. I can't believe how much these little tiny perfumes are. A little bit of this Avini, I don't know if that's how you say it, cleansing gel. There's only a tiny bit in there. I'll just keep that. Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Conditioner, which is completely full. We also got some Clinique Take the Day Off Charcoal Cleansing Balm. How exciting is this? Normally, they take everything that's in here and empty it out into the trash. But for the most part, those are perfectly good. Something like this that has, you know, flaws in it, I won't donate because I don't want to donate something like that, but I'll keep it for myself. 
<laughs> Last, we got some Fenty Beauty. This is setting powder and it is completely full. So this is exciting. And I don't ever buy myself like super expensive makeup. I know this isn't super expensive, but for me, it's super expensive because I just don't spend that much money on myself on makeup. So I was super excited to find this. This is a nice little treat for myself. This totaled over $314. So crazy, right? The other places that we headed to was CVS and $2 Generals, and that is literally it. We just didn't have that much luck. From CVS, I was able to grab two of these sparkling Poland spring waters. There's Twist of Lime, Twist of Lemon. Then I headed to the $1 General, and there was a huge bag with all of these chips in it. I forgot we did go to three different Dollar Generals. Out of the other Dollar General, we got six of the 1.25 liter bottles of Sprite, two Coke Zeros, the smaller bottles, and one smaller bottle of Diet Coke. Then we headed to the last Dollar General, and first we got a whole case of these Clorox disinfecting wipes. There is eight of these bottles here. These are like four or five bucks in the store, just for one. So I was super excited to find a whole case. These will get donated to the no-kill shelter. This is really cute, fresh and clean holder. You can put whatever in here. I am gonna keep this for my laundry room. The benefits of dumpster diving. <laughs> <laughs> two of these little musical monkeys and uh, like these were still in plastic so they didn't even make it to the shelf I have no idea why they threw these out same thing with these baby booties these were also in plastic they never made it to the shelf two pairs of size three to five t little girl socks baby bottle we got a four out of five pack of chalk for the kiddos a 24 count of oh well <laughs> It was 24. Lord, I have a hot mess express sometimes. Two of these green apple antibacterial soaps. They are both missing the pumps, but just dump it in a bottle that has a pump, okay? Ain't no need for it to go in the trash, right? Right. <laughs> Full bottle of Downy Calm. We also got this basket. It's supposed to have a lid, but the lid was broken, but the basket is still perfectly good. And last, but definitely not least, we got two cases, not one, but two of Captain Crunch cereal. Now it doesn't have the berries, okay? And I know, you ain't gotta tell me. The berries are what makes the dang cereal, <laughs> I know, but these are perfectly good, and the best part is they are not expired. So these are gonna be a great donation for the kiddos at the church. And that, my friends, is everything. It wasn't the best, but like I said, every little bit adds up, and we got some really cool stuff that is gonna be awesome to donate. That is gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me at the dumpsters, and today, in the reveal, I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving.